Marines at SOI are taught how to utilize basic demolitions, use all the mathematical equations, how to employ those breaching charges both in the offense and defense, along with employment of post anti timer support in the offense and defense as well. The students are screened uh, by meeting the prerequisites consisting of the 0351 MISMIS and minimum GT score of 100. From there, once they are successfully screened, they go through a 65-day program of instruction in which the first week of their infantry assault marine course, they learn basic demolitions. That provides an introduction to demolitions along with how to compute the mathematical equations to find certain pounds of explosive. The second week is their actual breaching portion where they learn how to construct, detonate, and clear breaching charges in order to provide mobility. That last week of the training evolution, the program of instruction, they learn how to employ and utilize the Mark 153, shoulder-fired multi-purpose assault weapon, also known as the small. Being an 0351, in my opinion, it's everything that an infantryman should be as far as being able to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy. Basic 0311, being more lethal, being able to employ rockets effectively, and being able to utilize demolitions. So not only are you closing with the enemy and conducting fire maneuver, however, you just add the capability to that unit. It's important for the 0351 to stay relevant and exist in the Marine Corps because the battlefields are changing. However, the Marines operating in austere environments and urban environments, they are going to need to utilize breaching charges for mobility. In addition, fighting near peer competitors, being able to engage anti-armor targets, um, be able to destroy those in enemy fortifications is going to be absolutely necessary in our future. Once Marines uh, graduate ITV, they go to the fleet not only with all the 0300, 0311 skills as far as patrolling basic infantry skills, but they also increase the lethality of that Marine by being able to employ rockets and utilize demolitions to increase the survivability and mobility of their units. They just cross a linear danger area. They push into the far side of the tree line and uh, they are conducting what's called the SILS stop, look, listen, and smell. Um, they're observing uh, for any enemy activity um, along with the small unit leaders are going from Marine to Marine to make sure we have full accountability of gear and personnel. Um, also uh, making sure that they are enemy oriented and they're tracking on the uh, current disposition and strength of where we're at along with the enemy's orientation. The patrol has reached their objective rally point also known as the ORP. They have pushed out what's called a leader's re recon where the assault men are looking for their route up to their objective and also confirming the intelligence of where their actual objective building is, what side to approach and movement corridors moving up to the objective. As soon as those Marines from the Leaders Recon come back, they will go ahead and disseminate that information through their small unit leaders where everyone is still um, tracking the original plan. And at the same time, if there's any deviation from the plan based on the reconnaissance that they conducted, they can modify their plan back here in the ORP to still achieve uh, mission success. The purpose of today's training is to have the Marines, everything that they've learned as far as in the classroom, practical application, everything they've tested out up to this point, they can actually apply those skills and knowledge skills required downrange and seeing exactly what they bring to the fight to the Marine Rifle Company. How to defeat obstacles, how to plan their breachers, briefs, etc. to be able to brief them um, and planning considerations all the way from prep for combat, execution, and what that consolidation phase looks like at the very end. It's very important for them to conduct those realistic rehearsals and it's very important for them to get out here and actually employ their knowledge and once again their skills in a tactical environment. It's not enough to just get the Marines out there and to apply the charters to a target, um, even though it's just a door in the middle of a pit, but to actually get out here in realistic terrain with their gear on in a tactical scenario and see how all of their small little procedures come together to form those tactics that will be conducted at the platoon and company level. If the Marine Corps lost 0351s, they would no longer have the capability with organic to the rifle company, ultimately losing lethality within the company itself. 